Hi everyone, welcome to Homeschool Autism Life. My name is Jamie and I am so glad you're here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be discussing um, some of the Sunrise Playroom games that I did and then the ones that I adapted to make my school board happy or the government happy depending on what um, requirements I was needing to do so that I could prove that I was homeschooling even though I was doing the Sunrise program. Um, Excuse my tired face. Um, it's been a very long week, the start of school. Um, but also, Darian had a sore on the roof of his mouth and was not sleeping for several days. Um, so that's been lots of fun. <laughs> All to start the, the school year off right. So um, the ones that I got directly off of the online program that I did not adapt um, was a, a number game and they're printable games that you can get and I don't know if I don't remember what the names are because I cut them out and then threw the papers away um, but I would like to introduce you to my little friend packing tape. <laughs> I do not have a laminator and so it's on my list for Christmas this year um, but because I didn't have that and didn't want to be continually printing out things once they got um, tired I laminated them with packing tape and then I also use packing tape to tape them to the walls and as you can see our dog hair and household miscellaneous stuff that lands on the floor is on the backs of them as well. But these um, is a, this is a game that Darian could play and love to play and you put the numbers all over the room and he's supposed to get a number and whatever that number is you do something that he loves. So for Darian it's tickles, it's kissy face and whatever number he grabbed um, he would get that many tickles or kisses or whatever. And for Darian though, he's a little bit OCD, and so he um, had to do it from one to nine all the time. But he loved this game, and I highly recommend it for those kids who are not highly verbal, um, maybe even the ones who are verbal but love to be tickled. This is a really great game that they had. Another game that they had was this, um, I'm just trying to, is different animals that you cut in half and then you could build them. I'm just trying to find a bottom. Um, you could build them in really weird, strange ways. So, you know, I, because I know my son has OCD tendencies, <laughs> um, I purposely built them kind of funny. And I'll be like, oh, look, it's an elephant cow. And he'd be like, mom, you're crazy. And he'd be like, no, 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 no. And he would go and he would fix them. And then I would try and get him to say, oh, oh, what's that? Now, I, I thought it was an elephant cow, but I don't know what it is now. And so then he would have to say what it was and it was a game that he loved for a very short time but it was one that he actually enjoyed and you know I got a kick out of seeing and freak out about them being mixed up. Um, another one that was really good but I did adapt to this one a little bit um, was it came with um, oh, there's the horse. Um, it came with um, a picture of a school that you could print off. And then it came with these little bodies. <laughs> um, and just nondescript little bodies with a little face. And I changed that up by printing off a picture of Darian and his sisters and his cousins. And um, yeah. So that way I could get him to do a bunch more things than just pick up the kids. Um, it didn't come with a bus, but I'm sure if you went to Google Images, you could probably find a bus. But my girls came home with this after a safety day at school. And so I laminated it with my packing tape and I also um, labeled it Darian's Playroom School Bus. And so I would put these kids all around his room and he would go and pick them up in the bus 
and the school would also be on the wall somewhere. And he would go pick up one of the kids and I'd be like, oh, say hi, bus driver. And that was the start of it. And then I'd have him say, say hi to Sienna. And then he would stick them on the bus. And then he'd pick up the next one. Hi, Nara, welcome to the school bus. And then, hi, Darian. And he would drive this to the school bus. And then he would take them off the school bus and put them, hi, welcome to school, Darian, and so on and so forth. And it was a really fun way of, you know, just A, helping him recognize people's faces and names and doing it in a timely fashion, not as long as it usually takes. And then also getting him to do an activity that has several layers, different steps. And yeah, he seemed to really enjoy that. And so I'm going to incorporate that again in, next, in this next school year. Um, and I'll tell you all about it next time. Um, another game that I did was for geography. Um, I needed to have some sort of social studies program, so I did geography, and I printed out just from, or photocopied from um, an atlas, really quite big pages that I kind of taped together with my handy best friend, and um, put these little arrow stickers stickers up and then I would have him dry erase and put the name of the continent. Now that was the first step because I wanted to morph into something else. So again on YouTube and I will try and find this video to link down in the description box below. It could work for an older kid but it also could work for a younger kid as well because her version was um, what three things belong together essentially. It was a bird, a nest, and a worm. So a bird, where it lives, what it eats. And so I adapted that to include um, all of the continents because that was my social studies program was we were going to learn the continents and so for us we live in North America it was North America he needed to find and label North America and again it's just sticky tape and then I did an animal and what it eats so a moose and it eats grass trees bushes, all of that kind of stuff. So that was what I did, but I didn't just stop with that because to make it a fun experience for him, something that he really loved was, um, I, he, these are was his favorite animals. So I would have him, or he would be like, oh no, mommy, you're turning into a lion. And I would transform into a lion, roar, and I'd shake my hair out, but I don't want to do that right now because it'll wreck the do. There are no do's in the playroom fun. And then I would have, I would go, oh, I'm so hungry, I need to eat meat because we don't want to go into the blood and gore of all of that. So I would just eat, munch on whatever appendage was out. I would eat his belly. I would do all sorts of things. And this is his favorite mummies turning into. We do it even though we don't, aren't doing the continents right now. This has stuck. This has stuck. <laughs> um, another one of his favorites was a seal. Um, he was a seal. I was the killer whale and he would pretend that the balls, the exercise balls were icebergs and we have to run around in circles. Um, and yeah, this was for whatever ocean. Another one that he loved was just a blue whale and blue whales eat krill and I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, little tiny krill. And I would just go, oh, trying to pretend to be a whale and then I would go eat him as a whale um, and I would take the exercise balls and I would try and eat all oh, that's blah black stick buggy blacky and then I'd go find him the krill again and he loves that um, and then the other one that he loved was a sleepy sloth now they said that they eat fruit and so I just figured the most like beautiful fruit ever is mangoes. I don't know if they eat mangoes, but that was one of the other things that he loved. And I just pretend to be sleeping and try and munch on him and then tell the mango to stop fighting me because I'm just sleepy and I need to eat and all of that kind of stuff. So that was another one of the ones that I made the school board and government happy. 
Um, another one, I couldn't find it today, but um, for math, what I did was I would take um, his insane collection of candy wrappers and put price tags on them and then I made him this fancy little wallet um, including little money um, it's our little dollar coin and yeah our bills and I would have him tell me how much it costs and then we would find the exact right amount in here now this does take a lot of work for him and he's not super confident plus he was really irritated that I took out his collection of candy wrappers and put them in his room so I had to adapt that and instead put them um, in the photocopier and photocopy them and put them and then he was okay with that but otherwise it was like no mom they go in the living room and I'm like they go in the garbage they go in the garbage but yeah no for him they belong oh are you okay bud <laughs> um yeah so this was a game that I did math and people seemed okay with the fact that I was doing math in this way um yeah and so the last thing was I said that we were going to do a review of the provinces which I had done the previous year before I did the sunrise program and so I got this map at, at the dollar store for a dollar and then because it it's a map um, it has the names on it so I covered the names with um, electrical tape and then something that you can also get was um, from the dollar store is those little labels for garage sales that you can put your prices on. I got that and then just wrote the province's names on it and then he and I went through later. Um, the names of the province's capitals, um, they were a part of a different game that I had done the previous year but I reused them here and again everything is packing tape up <laughs> but this was something that he really wasn't a huge fan of doing because it didn't have the fun elements of me eating him or whatever and so when it came to actually doing the flags he was like yeah no not interested and I'm like okay no worries um, so the last thing, um, we're Christians at our school board, um, asked that we do a Christian component and I talked a little bit about why I was so excited about my LA program was that it had a faith-based program already wrapped into it and then I didn't have to make this, but this is the one that I made and um, it just took me a really long time because I'm doing so many other things. I'm doing eye therapy with Sienna and I'm doing spelling and reading with her and then um, Darian's stuff is taking a long time as well. So I don't have, the onus isn't on me, but this one I, was, I am proud of it because it has like flippy things and fill in the blanks. And again, packing tape. That's all I used. Anytime there's a filling in the blank, this book is going to be with us for quite some time. And yeah, so there was lots for him to do, lots to keep him engaged, and I would read the story as well. And then he had the little flippy book. Last thing that I really felt was important was I had watched something called Patterns of Evidence, and I will link um, something down below for you but it was talking about the actual archaeological evidence of these things actually having existed and we never hear about that and so for the purposes of you know grounding my children's faith for themselves um, I want to show them the evidence of what's actually out there archaeologically and so yeah no that was something else that I had done to just kind of solidify the stories and talk about what it was like from an emotional standpoint to be sold off by your brothers or whatever the case may be for the story of Joseph so that was all that I did for the Sunrise program. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have found inspiration, things that you want to do. Remember, this little friend will save you so many dollars and senses. Um, and if you want to see anything else, if there's something that interests you, let me know down in the comments below. Like so we can widen the audience or the, 
the commercial. <laughs> I hope I'm a commercial for the Sunrise program. And thank you so much. I am so excited about the next couple of videos. They're going to be about what I'm doing for this year. And I am so excited about that. We did our first day of LA today and he did so awesome. So I am super pumped, super excited about the next couple of videos, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the sun. Thanks for watching.